In today's lesson, we'll be learning about the equation of a linear relation. A linear relation can be expressed in standard form as ax plus by equals c or ax plus by plus c equals zero. However, a must be a positive integer, which means it must be a positive whole number. Some textbooks say that b and c must be integers as well. However, I'm only going to require that you express a as a positive integer. A linear relation can also be expressed in slope-intercept form, which is represented by y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope and b represents the y-intercept. In our first example, we want to express y equals negative 1 over 2x plus 2 in standard form. It is important to remember that standard form can be expressed as ax plus by equals c or ax plus by plus c equals 0. Both are equally correct. I'm going to be using the second one. Let's begin by rewriting our question. According to standard form, all of our terms need to be on one side of the equation. I'm going to move negative 1 over 2x to the other side of the equation by adding 1 over 2x to both sides of the equation. Therefore, negative 1 over 2x plus 1 over 2x cancels out, which leaves us with y plus 1 over 2x equals 2. Now let's move the 2 to the other side of the equation, which means we're going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. Therefore, 2 subtract 2 cancels out, which leaves me with y plus 1 over 2x subtract 2 equals 0. Let's rearrange this slightly so the term containing x is out front. We're not finished yet since the value of a in standard form must be a positive integer. This is positive, but it is not an integer. It is not a whole number, which means we're going to have to multiply everything on both sides of the equation by 2 to turn this value of a into a positive integer. We're going to use the distributive property to distribute that 2 to everything within the brackets using multiplication. So that becomes 1x, this becomes 2y, and this becomes negative 4, and that becomes 0. But remember, we don't like to write the 1 in. So this can be simplified to just x plus 2y subtract 4 equals 0. In our last example, we want to express 6x minus 3y minus 4 equals 0 in slope-intercept form. If you remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Let's begin by rewriting our question. Ultimately, we want our variable of y isolated on the left side of the equation which means we're going to have to move some of these terms to the right side of the equation. I'm going to begin by moving negative 4 to the other side, which means I'm going to have to add 4 to both sides of the equation. Negative 4 plus 4 cancels out, which leaves me with just 6x minus 3y equals 0 plus 4, which simplifies to just 4. Next, I'm going to move the term 6x to the other side of the equation, which means I'm going to have to subtract 6x from both sides of the equation. Negative 4 
6x subtract 6x cancels out, which leaves me with just negative 3y on the left and 4 minus 6x on the right. We want to isolate y, but y is still stuck with this negative 3. So we're going to do the opposite operation to both sides of the equation, which means we're going to divide both sides by negative 3. Therefore, negative 3 divided by negative 3 cancels out, which leaves me with just y. 4 divided by negative 3 is the same thing as negative 4 over 3. And negative 6x divided by negative 3 is positive 2x. However, we are not finished. Let's just rearrange some of the terms on the right side of our equation. We want the term with 2x first. Therefore, the equation of our line in slope-intercept form is y equals 2x minus 4 over 3.